So we've come outside to make a bug hotel, because none of us are travelling at the moment. But the bees and the ladybirds and the bugs, they're still travelling and they need somewhere to stay. You can make a bug hotel in almost anything. So I've just run around the house grabbing a few things. I've got this old bus, which is missing a wheel. This is an old doll's house. I found this wine box. It's one of those ones if someone gives you a posh bottle of wine, sometimes it comes in a presentation box or a bottle of whiskey or something. That's quite good. Anything you want, and then I'm going to show you how to decorate the interior of your bug hotel. For our house today, I've cut, glued and nailed together some craft wood that I found. It's in one piece for now, but I'm not promising anything. With some bits of wood, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces of wood, all nailed together. So if you've got anything, a good wood, and you've got some paint at home which you feel will make it waterproof, or some kind of sealant, then by all means, make your own little bug house. But I know that people don't have a lot of stuff around at the moment, and it might be easier if you use one of the things I've already suggested that you've already got lying around the house, okay? Once you've decided on your home, you've got to decide how to furnish it. Begin creating different bug zones in the box. It's best to start with the bee nesting tubes for our honey-making friends to sleep through the winter months. So this is either paper straws that you've got at the back of a cupboard, along with the candles and the other birthday stuff, or this is straws that you make out of greaseproof paper, which you roll up like straws. And then these are just put together with a hair tie. It's super, super, super simple. And then you pop those in your house like that. You'll be able to find things to fill your bug house wherever you are. Use twigs to entice ladybirds and other beetles, dry leaves, rocks, straw, sand, bark and pine cones make excellent hiding places for all manner of mini beasts. There's no hurry to get this craft done. Insects will appreciate somewhere to hide and rest all year round. But it's in the winter months when your bug house will be most popular with garden critters looking for a cozy nook to hibernate. So what you're trying to do is arrange it in the same way that you arrange your chairs, sofas, furniture in your house. So I'm going to turn it like that and then I'm going to really ram it in. Then hopefully turn it back up again and find that it's a very nice, cosy, welcoming environment for ladybirds, bees, bugs of all kinds. Using moss, begin to pack round where you have placed your bee tubes, cones and sticks. The drier, the better. And it looks so pretty. What you want to do is just put it all in in such a way that it's not going to fall out. Use your, use your twigs to sort of secure things. So again, wedge things in using your twigs and your moss. Definitely when you're collecting stuff, collect a little more than you need, obviously, but without destroying any habitats. The great thing about this craft is it isn't just the creepy crawlies that will be buzzing with excitement. It's great for the kids too. You know, so many of us now are having to do homeschooling. This kind of thing is definitely part of the homeschooling. So it's a good opportunity to make something like this together. 